Hello, it's the Horrifying Man. I've got uh, three things to do today. First one's an unboxing from my good friend and ready. Come from Canada, come this morning, which I'm really chuffed about. I've got my latest pickups and at the end of it all, I'll be doing a quick competition for a single prize. So, simple one, one question, quick answer, bosh. There you go. Right, first up is this package here, which I'm really, really chuffed about. I've cut it open, but I haven't actually looked in yet. So, here we go. Ah, cool. Loads in here again. Bound, first, the first thing. Bound of Vengeance. It's another one I haven't seen. So one of the things I really love about a good mate, Brian, is um, keep sending me these films and I haven't seen them. So I know nothing about them, which is what I like. So, yeah, really chuffed about this one. This looks pretty cool. That woman who's kidnapped. Not rated as well, so yeah. Bound of Vengeance. Cheers, Brian. Next one. Ah, yeah. This is um, Text Edition, Screen Factory of Dead Ringers. I've been after this for quite a while. I've only ever seen it since the VHS days. Really good Cronenberg film. I really look forward to this. About two surgeons. Looks absolutely really cool. Played by Jeremy Irons. I remember it was well ahead of its time when they made it because they started moving the camera around when the two of them were on screen at the same time. It's got a commentary on it, which I absolutely love. Well, two actually as well. One with Jeremy Irons, which I'll listen to probably tomorrow. So I'm really chuffed about this. There's, oh, there's also one by Cronenberg as well. Preferred ratio. So yeah, cheers for that. Love it. It's got the slip cover as well. Really chuffed by that. Ah. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Cheers for this one. This was um, it's an Arrow USA release of um, Psychomania, a crazy British <laughs> biker film, well, biker zombie film. Absolutely love this film. It's hilarious where they come out of the ground on their motorbikes. So I'm really chuffed about this because it's, um, it's already come out in the UK, but it wasn't on Arrow. And when I heard that they were actually doing it, I thought, I've got to get this one. So, luckily, good mate Brian actually went down and um, he actually pre-ordered this and reserved the copy. So, wow, really, really chuffed about that. Brilliant. Love that artwork as well. Ah, another redemption one. I do like these films. Uh, I really love the other one he gave me as well. The Shiver of the Vampires. Another Gene Rowling film. These films are just so cheesy and sleazy. They're just absolutely brilliant, man. I look forward to this. This looks really good fun as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I actually look forward to this. This is one of my like late night looking weekend films that I love to watch. I love it. I love the old snapper cases as well. You never see them anymore. Oh, there's another one as well. Brilliant. Fascination, another rolling film. So, <laughs> I've got quite a few weekend films to watch then. This one looks, oh, that's not bad. Lesbian lovemaking, you know. He loves it and so do we. <laughs> so, I'm really chuffed for that as well. Because I haven't really got hardly any of these redemption films. So, cheers again. I love it. Love it. Ah. Oh, Rue Morgue. Actually, yeah, I've never, ever actually seen one of these, so I'm really chuffed about this. I do love, I always hear everyone going on about this. So, yeah, love it, man. Nice old one. I like reading the old back issues as well. That's brilliant. Plenty for me to look at there. <laughs> I love seeing the old releases as well as they're coming out. And realize how far he moved on from the films as well. So yeah, cheers, cheers for this, Brian. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks for the extra films as well. I'm really chuffed about that. Loads for me to get my teeth into. So yeah, thanks very much. Hopefully you've got your package because I sent yours out. So um, yeah, hopefully you've received that. I'm well chuffed with that. Fascination. Shiver of the Vampires. 
Psychomania. Brilliant Dead Ringers. And Bounty Vengeance as well. So plenty to get the teeth into there. Once again, he's a great guy. I like doing these trades with him. Throw in extra little goodies as well. So yeah, check him out. I'll leave the description below in the description box. And cheers. Right. Now on to my um, pickups, it's been a few weeks. First up, we've got the 88 films with a limited slip cover there. This is um, Syndicate Sadists, that's the um, limited edition slip cover they put out with it. Here's the actual film itself. This was um, this was good, I mean the guy's called Rambo which kept making me laugh anyway all the way through it. Yeah, it's a cop guy, comes in, takes on these mobs and it's basically so much fun. Not really much stuff. I've got Remembering Rambo, this interview with Umberto Lenzi, and uh, Mike Malloy on Syndicate Say This. That's basically it. So, yeah, nice race from Arrow, but once again, a little bit short on the extras, but I get used to that now. Also, decided to get this Black Exploitation film. Didn't open it yet, then Willy Dynamite. I love that cover. It's so cool, man. So retro. And sp <laughs> Look at that, it's cool as fuck. Yeah, I haven't actually seen this one before, but I uh, watched the trailer as soon as they announced it. And yeah, this looks really good fun, man. It's got a good um, Kiss My Bad Ass Guide to Black Exploitation hosted by actor Ice-T. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. So yeah, it's got a trailer as well. So yeah, nice release again. Not really that many extras on it. I'm pretty disappointed there's no actual um, commentary on it. But yeah. Also, decided to get this one. This is the um, single release with the um, slip cover for Donnie Darko. I've got the box set, but I've got all the um, slipcase editions, so I thought I'll get that as well. That's a brilliant film. This is the one I can just keep going to and watch. Plus, actually, they had a little bit of a sale on with um, Shameless, so I picked up Top Sensation. And, yeah. It was okay. It wasn't quite as sleazy as I thought. You got the bit there, on there, but it's very fleeting. And the goat scene was pretty, pretty shit, really. You didn't really see a lot, and yeah. It wasn't half as good as I thought. It was, it was okay. You know. Yeah, that was all right. And also I picked up another one of the box sets. It's um, the Slash and Nasties Triple Bill with Torso, Night Train, Murders and Killer None. I like the I like the design of it there. That's pretty cool. It's got the um, the three films on there, so yeah, a good fun all of them. So yeah, it's a nice little box set. There's a few of these, a couple more still got to get, but yeah, it was on offer, so yeah, it's cool. And also I uh, picked up this one. <laughs> it's quite funny. Super Shark, bikinis, bullets, and big bites. It's got their slip cover on it. Yeah. Looks pretty tacky, but you know, I do like these sort of films, just like um, Wicker Boy. You know, shark films are fun. Also, picked up this, which I really enjoy. It's um, Beyond the Gates. Come out here a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think it comes out on Screen Factory in May. Also, got that on um, pre order as well. But you know, Screen Factory don't do it to the UK, do they? Yeah. So this was actually really good. Again, this guy's um, two brothers' dad goes missing. He owns an old video store and they find a board game. And basically they start playing it and Barbara Crampton's the host. She comes up and basically they have to do some tests to get through these gates that appear in the basement and basically so they can get their father back. It's really good. There's some really good gore in it as well. A brilliant head being ripped open and oh yeah this is really good and I hear that they're doing a second one as well yeah I've chatted to the director Jackson Stewart online and that yeah and he's a really good bloke really nice bloke so yeah recommend this really good fun very 80s nice retro simp score really good fun so yeah it's beyond the gates now today I nipped into Asda and I got this it's a Mexican film Evil Games yeah, this is actually, looks good. Guy kidnaps his um, teenage girl and basically she turns the tables on him. So, yeah, it's only three quid. Not bad. 
Evil Games. Also, finally, they actually shocked me. They got this one on Blu-ray with a slip. It's um, Train to Busan. This is, I've seen the trailer for this. My mate put it up on Facebook and it looks amazing. I'm so glad it's got uh, Blu-ray over here. It's got the making of a sneak peek at the Drain to Busan prequel, Soul Station and Soul Station trailer. So, yeah, this is this looks absolutely brilliant. Fast running zombies and attacking them on the train. The zombies on the train. It just looks absolutely fucking mental. Yeah, I've only had good things about this. So, yeah, looking forward to watching that. And, I don't know, I ended up getting this as well. Yeah, with a slip there. So, yeah, Ouija, Origin of Evil. I haven't heard many good things about this, but I thought, fuck it. Sort of commentary, commentary. So, if it is pretty shit, I'll put that on here, what um, Mike Flanagan says about it. So, yeah, I know it's set in the 60s. It's like a prequel. I thought, it says strong threat and horror, so... Yeah, I enjoyed the original. He got a lot of shit, but I didn't mind it. And I've got another few that weren't horror, but they're on offer. I got Fast and Furious 7. I got that. I watched that one last week, and I wasn't that impressed with it. I think the film fell apart when um, Paul Walker died. You could see the bits where he was sort of basically that just stuck him on the scene. And the story just seemed a bit disjointed, obviously, because of what happened to him in that bad car crash. Yeah, it was just a bit lackluster, really. And the shitty, soppy ending, it was just pretty bad. So I look forward to the eighth one. I did like Jason Staff a minute, but yeah. Also, I picked up with the slip Jurassic World as well. I've seen it before. I like the embossed thing here. That's a good, fun film. Look forward to the next one. So, yeah. Pick that up as well. Two for ten quid, so it's pretty good. And in Poundland, I picked up this Red Hill. Uh, after I watched the trailer, and it looks really, really good, man. I really enjoy. It. I really enjoy it. So, yeah, it's like a modern day western. Yeah, really, really good, good film. So yeah, really chuffed with that. So that's all the films I picked up. So right do a competition now and the simple question is um, do a video and I'm giving away this it's the um, Assault on Precinct 13 a limited edition so here it comes in this really nice digi pack really cool it's also got the, um, the soundtrack as well so you get all the brilliant score by John Carpenter as well it's a really good film really good quality you get you get postcards there as well. Quite quite a few of them. Yeah, so that's the prize. So um, if anybody fancies winning this, it's a really cool addition. Really worth it from Second Sight. You can actually do quite good, some quite good releases. That's the other side there, as you can see. It's really nice. There you go. Yeah, so that's the prize. Nice little tough cardboard box as well so yeah the uh, simple question is after do a video be a subscriber and it's only going to be open for one week so obviously the people who do watch my videos regularly can um, see the video and uh, the question is all the new horror franchise sequels that are coming out this year which is like Hellraiser Texas Chainsaw Friday the 13th well maybe Halloween, Chucky, Child's Play films, and you know, or any other ones, even like Evil Bong, I know they're doing a crowdfunding campaign. Which one are you looking forward to seeing the most, and why? Simple thing, only video entries, and like I say, um, I'll be announcing the winner next Saturday, so it's just a quick little, just to celebrate 750 subscribers, and that's it. So, simple as that, video, be it in by next Saturday and which franchise sequel are you looking forward to the most and why yeah so that's it so um, yeah thanks everybody for watching um, hopefully some people are at the competition and good luck to everyone thanks again to Brian for the brilliant brilliant package again he never let me down I know we'll have another one soon there's a few screen factory releases that I want that hopefully he's going to keep his eye out for that released 
soon. So yeah, that's it. It's a bit longer video than normal, so it's probably going to take me God knows how long to fucking upload. So yeah, that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. If you like the competition, nice simple one. Take you two minutes to do a video and upload it. Yeah. Thanks everyone. Don't forget to sub Brian. Oh, screen name Unready. And keep it horror.